Hey folks, welcome back to Eddie the Thinker. My name is Aditya, aka Eddie, and today we're going to get down to the basics. We are going to talk about the origins of viruses. But first, The virus was discovered back in 1892 by Russian botanist Dmitry Ivanovsky. Ivanovsky was attempting to study the cause of the leaf discoloration in the tobacco plant. The experiments of Ivanovsky were repeated by Martinus Behring in 1898, who named the new infectious agent Contagium vivum fluidum, what we now know as viruses. That sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Contagium vivum fluidum. The origin of viruses is a hotly debated topic in the scientific community with no correct answer. There are three main theories though that well theorize the origin of viruses. Viruses descended from primordial genetic elements. Viruses have evolved from single cell or multi-celled organisms that have gotten rid of some of the genes that were not required for parasitism. Virus are escaped genes that have developed a selfish mode of how do you say making love. Qu'est-ce que? Oui, merci. A selfish mode of reproduction. Viruses are abundant. Who knows? There could be so many viruses floating around. No oh, hey. But it it's just not affecting us. Perhaps if there was a dog or a bird maybe they would get infected. Despite its abundance, viruses are detected indirectly. Shh, be where we where we quiet. I'm hunting viruses. <laughs> the presence of viruses are mainly confirmed by an organism showing signs of disease. The best way to understand viruses is to understand their properties. And we'll do that in the next episode. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please let me know by smashing that like button and please share this video. This content must be available to everyone. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next episode.